Hi, this is PD at Bergsdark Arcade at bergsdarkarcade.com and I wanted to go over another new feature that comes with Unity 3.4 and that's uh, ordering the, the execution of your scripts. So let's go ahead and open up Unity and I've created a folder and I've just thrown some scripts in there and I've just called them scripts 1, 2, 3, and 4 and if you notice they do absolutely nothing. Uh, they're just set up for examples. Now you'll notice now that we have these two buttons up here one called open and one called execution order and of course you can also access the gizmos for it uh, for it but um, I believe in the older version this was called edit it just might have just been changed and all it does is just open up the script in mono develop or whatever you have set for your script editor uh, but the execution order now if we click this we'll notice we're presented with a new uh, inspector panel here here that we had uh, never had previously uh, if you actually go ahead, uh, read it, but I'll just quickly demonstrate it. You go ahead and just start dragging scripts in. And you'll notice that uh, you have a default time and the ability to drag scripts in before or after the default time. And the way this works is the default time is when your scripts normally run. So any th if you didn't actually use uh, any of this ordering manager here, it would uh, actually just run your scripts like it normally would, uh, basically independent of the order that they're in. Uh, but maybe sometimes you're actually going to want a script that you actually want to run uh, first in every frame. And this could be something that maybe captures the user's input. You want to be able to um, allow the user to I don't know, do their input the first thing every frame. So uh, this would be a great way to do it. Maybe script two does that. And then uh, maybe script three, or sorry, script one actually captures your mobs. Uh, input what they want to do for that turn and you can just actually go ahead and drag this up here and f Another way to quickly order these instead of just dragging them if you want you can actually type them in uh, the lower the number puts it closer to I uh, sorry, the number that's closer to zero puts it to the default time So if we were to actually put this at negative 30 You'll notice it actually jumps down here and of course if you make it a positive number It'll automatically jump after so after your default timer, uh, you can actually set up scripts that you actually want to run at the end of uh, the frame, basically. And you could put your little physics things here. Like I'm not really sure I'll actually use this feature, uh, but it is a really nice feature, and I can see some people uh, actually using this. Uh, right now, I just can't really think of anything off the top of my head, except something that you want to have run to set up uh, maybe all your variables before the, the rest of the frame runs. So if you have any sort of script dependencies. But anyway, after you're done here, uh, the way we have it set up right now, it's going to run script 1, and then it's going to run script 3 and 4 in any order. Uh, you can't really uh, say what order you want them to run in if they're, you're just going to run it through default time. And then you're going to run script 2. But like I said, if you do want to make sure that you actually are running them in an order uh, that, that you can control, you can just go ahead and drag them all up here, and of course, you know, maybe you want them to run all before uh, the default stuff. You can put them like this. But anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, it's a quick little handy video. Uh, after you get it set up, or sorry, it's a quick handy little feature. After you do get it set up, though, make sure you go ahead and hit apply. And if you actually have a script here you actually want to get rid of, that's the little takeaway buttons for. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.